The rise of NVIDIA, from graphics pioneer to AI powerhouse. Imagine a world where every move you make online is seamlessly processed, where AI shapes everything from search engines to self-driving cars, and where gaming experiences feel almost lifelike. Behind the scenes, there's one company making all this possible, and it's not Apple, Microsoft, or Google. Today, NVIDIA is the world's most valuable company, surpassing Apple and rewriting the rules on what technology can do. NVIDIA's story begins in 1993, when three engineers, Jensen Wong, Chris Malakowski, and Curtis Priam, came together with a dream to build graphics technology that would power the next generation of computers. This was the early age of computer graphics, and while a few companies were experimenting with GPUs, none of them truly cracked the code on creating a powerful, reliable graphics card. They began with a question, what if computers could render visuals in real time, making every scene fluid and lifelike? The answer was NVIDIA's first graphics accelerator, and it set the tone for the future of visual computing. By 1997, they released the Rivo 128, one of the world's first GPUs dedicated to high-quality graphics processing, and it wasn't long before they were revolutionizing an industry. In 1999, NVIDIA introduced the world's first GPU, the GeForce 256. At the time, this technology was revolutionary. Finally, developers had the tools to render games with advanced lighting, detailed textures, and smoother frame rates. This move put NVIDIA on the map for gamers, and the company quickly became the go-to brand for graphics in the booming gaming world. But NVIDIA's reach didn't stop there. Partnering with top game developers, the company began embedding its graphics into the DNA of the gaming industry. By 2004, NVIDIA's GPUs were powering blockbuster titles, and the company's dominance in gaming was solidified with the release of the GeForce GTX series. While NVIDIA had conquered gaming, a new challenge was emerging. Artificial intelligence was beginning to attract the attention of the world's brightest minds, but its massive data needs were slow in progress. Recognizing the potential, NVIDIA developed CUDA in 2006, a revolutionary architecture that turned the GPU into more than just a gaming component. Now, it could be used for complex computing, making NVIDIA's hardware invaluable for AI research. With CUDA, NVIDIA's GPU became the backbone of modern AI. And by 2012, the searchers were using them to power deep learning, a technology that would later enable voice assistance, image recognition, and self-driving cars. From this point on, NVIDIA was no longer just a gaming company. It was a critical player in the AI revolution. As NVIDIA grew, it strategically acquired companies to expand its capabilities and reach. One of the most significant moves was the acquisition of Mellanox in 2019. Mellanox strengthened NVIDIA's position in data centers allowing it to process more data and support the demanding AI workloads that were rapidly becoming the norm. This acquisition wasn't NVIDIA's only big move. In 2020, a company announced its intent to buy ARM, a semiconductor giant whose architecture powers most of the world's mobile devices. The deal faced regulatory challenges, but revealed NVIDIA's ambition to dominate mobile computing and IoT. Though it didn't finalize, the ARM bid was a clear signal. NVIDIA wasn't satisfied with just graphics and AI. It wanted a hand in every aspect of the tech landscape. With its dominance in AI and gaming, NVIDIA naturally faced competition. AMD, its longtime rival in graphics, was always close on its heels, competing for gaming performance. Intel, too, made moves in the GPU market, challenging NVIDIA's hardware expertise. And in AI, Google created its own tensor processing units to power deep learning applications. 
But NVIDIA has a unique advantage, a versatile ecosystem. By consistently innovating and listening to market demands, NVIDIA builds products that developers, researchers, and gamers can all rely on. And with AI becoming a foundational technology, NVIDIA's GPUs and data solutions remain a step ahead of the competition. Some of NVIDIA's most successful products have been the GeForce RTX line for gaming and the A100 GPUs for AI and data centers. The GeForce series with real-time ray tracing has continued to redefine graphics standards, delivering realistic lighting and textures for gamers worldwide. But not every product has been a success. For example, NVIDIA's attempts in mobile computing with Tegra processors didn't gain as much traction, partly due to the intense competition from established mobile chip makers. However, every step, successful or not, shaped NVIDIA's future direction. As of November 2024, NVIDIA stands as the most valuable company in the world, surpassing even Apple. Valued at over $3 trillion, NVIDIA's rise speaks to the transformative power of AI and data-centric technology. But what's next? Looking ahead, NVIDIA has set its sight on quantum computing, advanced AI models, and autonomous driving. In gaming, it continues to lead with the GeForce line, while in AI, it powers everything from research labs to the data centers of tomorrow. As industries shift toward automation and data-driven decisions, NVIDIA remains at the center of it all, powering an increasingly digital and connected world. NVIDIA's journey from a small graphics company to the world's most valuable enterprise is a testament to innovation, strategy, and an unyielding vision for the future. Their work touches nearly every part of modern life, and their contributions to AI, gaming, and computing have set the stage for what's next. NVIDIA's success reminds us that technology is more than just tools. It's a gateway to new possibilities. Only time will tell what the future holds for NVIDIA. But one thing is certain, they forever change the way we experience the digital world. And as the world continues to evolve, NVIDIA is poised to be at the forefront leading the way.